How's it going, people? Welcome back to another new episode of The Scent, and thank you for tuning in again. So, the drone is so powerful when you make any kinds of videos, especially for cinematic video, but sometimes it's hard to color grade because of the high contrast situation like the bright sky and the dark shadow, or how much colors you gain and the position of colors. So, today I'll show you guys how to color grade your drone footage to a cinematic look. As always, let's breathe a new life into the footage. Enjoy. So, as we can see, it's not that bad. And we have details in shadow and the highlight is not that blown out. Well, it's kind of hazy right now, but I'm gonna deal with it later. But you know, we gotta be careful about those. You know, we might break easily depending on how we color grade it. But first thing first, let's get a contrast with this slider. So let's be humble on this take care about the shadow especially just i'm gonna bring this up somewhere around this and make it a little bit balanced with pivot okay so don't try to be perfect at the beginning of all process like don't try to you know make it look perfect with only one or two tools like those sliders you know we have this shadow and highlights so i'll use each tool for each area so now we have kind of you know basic contrast like before after much difference but first i'll fix this highlight area so i'm just gonna bring this gain down we'll just like this also i'm gonna use this highlight to reduce the you know upper you know area highlight this area you know those things are touching to the upper limits yeah this one it's like completely white almost i don't want this so i'm gonna reduce this highlight you know with this you can reduce it easily but it turned out this area is like a cloud like white so i think you know I'm gonna make it okay as it is, but anyway, I'm gonna reduce it a little bit, just a little bit. So like this, don't be you know, perfect on this. I'm gonna fix only this sky area later, you know, by using one node. And also I'm gonna reduce this gamma because it's a little bit hazy right now. So I, I wanna, you know, get rid of it. So I'm gonna bring this down. Also, bring this lift down to make the shadow more darker. So I'm gonna do like this. And at the last, I'm giving a little bit like a shadow spice by using this log wheel. So bring this shadow down to make it like a you know crisp, sharp, you know, shadow. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. So guys, if you are struggling to understand those wheels, you know, especially if you, you know, come from the Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, please leave the comment below. You know, I'm trying to make an you know, easy tutorial for beginners, so just leave the comment below. Okay, so this is before, after, before, after. So next, moving to this node, saturation. First, get a saturation with this slider. Actually, how much of colors you get depends on your eyes. Sometimes, especially when I, you know, select and edit a specific color, I use those scopes to check where I am. But when I get a basic saturation like now, I trust my eyes basically. So I'm just gonna gain this saturation. like this so like now according to my eyes the image is kind of shifted to like orange a little bit well eventually i might do that but i want you know i want to make it like a normal just neutral central to know what is going on here so i'm gonna subtract the orange by moving this to blue okay like this so before after before after so now we have a basic contrast and saturation. In this node, I'm gonna create the look I want this time. I wanna make it punchy in both of uh, contrast and colors. So what I can do about punchy color is, so first using this log shadow and shift it to green to 
you know, make those greens, you know, more green. Before, after, before, after. Like those area, before, after. Like more green. And make those beautiful like yellows and orange, more yellow and orange. So using this mid down. I'm gonna stop right here. So the highlight, you know, I can do anything about this and you know, I can do blue, yellow, orange, red, anything, but I want to make a kind of like morning, like evening vibes. So I think I'm gonna go with yellow to so shift this highlight to yellow. Yep. And I think I'm gonna use this temperature to make it a little bit more orange. Okay, let's see what I can do. Okay, this is too much. Okay, maybe just a little bit. What about this? Yeah, good. Okay, so this is before, after, before, after. So now let's deal with those highlights and shadows separately. So here is why I told you not to be perfect at the beginning of your know, process is this you know window tool so i'm just gonna use this and cover this like a sky like a highlight area where well, something like this and blend it and cover this like a hazy sky area and let's go to carve and i'm just gonna bring it down to get more details and highlights see okay i'm gonna stop right here not too much before after very good so moving to last node so about this shadow i will do a pretty much same thing as sky so this window and i'm just gonna cover this mountain area i'm just gonna do like this and blend it again and going to curve so i will make a slight s curve here so i'm gonna bring this middle up just a little bit like this, you know, to make those, you know, area brighter, more, you know, pop out and bring the low down just a little bit, not too much. I don't want to crush it. So now this mountain area has a sharp, like a contrast, good contrast, like this, you know, middle area and the dark area. It's just like the original contrast which this mountain has is you know now more emphasized so i'm gonna select this node and this node let's do before and after before after before after so good and at the last this is completely optional but i'm gonna do the noise reduction for this node well if you have free da vinci version I think this is not available, so you can skip to the you know, next section. The timetable is below. So the drone footage is so weak at the, you know, like a shadow noise, you know, because it has a small sensor and not always, but I like to add noise reduction for this footage. So I'm going to add the noise reduction from this open FX noise reduction. I'm going to add here and let's set it up quickly so frames to three and the type to better and thresholds around 2.8 ish good and i'm gonna unchain this and using only chroma just like this well it's very small change well Okay, this is it. So I'm going to turn off all of this and let me take you to the journey of all processes we did to get this look from this flat log image. Enjoy. Okay, so how was it? Well, not that complicated, right? Important thing is do the process step by step. 
it's okay as long as the final output satisfies you and your audience. You don't have to rush into the goal. Just analyze your footage and make a plan and steps. And you can deal with those one by one to create a great result. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions, thoughts, don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And if you have any requests for next scenes, also leave the comment below. So to that subject, very much it. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, show me a thumb and uh, hit the subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.